This is what it sounds like to tell the world that it's never too late for a new adventure. If I can learn it, anybody can. <laughs> After retiring from a teaching career, Susie Miller decided it was time to become the student. I'm not athletic or competitive by nature. When she saw former Virginia Tech tennis coach Ann Jones's beginner tennis course in the Parks and Recreation Guide, no, just toss, right, go. She got ready to learn. They've gone from not being able to hit the ball to be able to hit the ball to be able to move. With a new set of skills came a new family. My mother has been badgering me for several years over that I have to try tennis, that I will love it. One of those new family members is Cynthia Rancourt. Her mom, who now plays as her teammate, inspired her to take a risk at something with which she had limited experience. I remember going on a date <laughs> when I was in high school and I hit the ball clearly two blocks down the road. It was very embarrassing. That's about the extent of my experience. Fast forward to today. This crew is hitting winners and looking to span this new love across generations. A big dream of mine would be to be able to play competitively with my grandchildren. There's a 30 percent um, rate of obesity in the NRV. Tennis is just one of the best activities to combat that. That's a mission that turned a couple beginner clinics into a full-blown community tennis association with a $3,000 grant to help it expand. That's our overall uh, goal is to to help people learn to get more fit and to be more uh, active. New game new friends we had a blast together new vision to see somebody like them really take it to heart is probably not a better feeling in the world in blacksburg bethany t wsls 10.